So welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading from the 8th to the 14th of August. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Virgo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Virgo, for this week is the Three of Swords. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Magician. Okay, in reverse. So your biggest challenge here, Virgo, has a lot to do with the Three of Swords energy. Usually the Three of Swords talks about pain, trauma, hurt, uh, regret, remorse. Okay, this is going to be a big part of your challenge. We're going to clarify and see in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Virgo, you have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. So in the recent past, I do feel there was this very happy situation in your life, a happy home, happy family, happy relationship. I do feel in the past something here uh, changed, okay? I am getting that. With the Nine of Cups here, something here brought you a lot of inner happiness and fulfillment. All right. And, and this inner happiness and fulfillment, some, because something changed here, uh, there may have became a very closed off energy. Maybe someone you were dealing with became very closed off or maybe you became very closed off here in the past. And for many of you with the Ten of Cups here, it's almost like there's something here about happiness and love, but something here changed. OK, and we're going to talk about why that happened when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the present moment, Virgo, you have the lovers, the Hierophant, and the moon. There's such a strong connection right now in the present moment between you and a specific person. I feel for some of you, you're getting married to this person or it's someone that you'd like to get married to. I do feel like this is a soulmate that's coming in. And with the moon here, there's a lot of emotions running very high. OK, and there's also something here about not knowing where this relationship's going. OK, because the moon is here. The, when the moon when the moon appears, in a reading there's a lot of hidden energies it's a very um lunar energy a very feminine energy that's kind of hidden or closed we're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment in the near future you have the world the ace of swords and the page of cups so i do feel in the near future and this is not going to resonate with everyone but there is some form of forgiveness that's coming in uh, something here is coming to an end. A cycle is coming to an end for you. And it looks like the truth is going to be revealed to you. So if there's some sort of information that you've wanted, uh, it looks like you're getting it here in the near future. And, you know, with the world being here, it looks like something is going to be released and there's going to be an opportunity for a new beginning. Okay. And we're going to talk about that in a moment, which you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. You have the magician here in reverse. So something here you're trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest or create something here that you haven't been able to do. And you're trying to make sense of why you're not able to manifest this situation. And we're going to talk about manifestation, why it may not be happening for you, what you need to know about, because it is showing up in your reading. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Virgo, and let's see what's going on for you. All right, let's clarify your challenge. All right, so the Three of Swords is clarified by the Empress. You have the Temperance and the Nine of Swords. So your biggest challenge here, Virgo, has a lot to do with fear, anxiety, worry about something. And I did mention this to Aquarius, okay? So some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius very strong in your chart. In order for you to achieve 
this manifestation, this goal that you have, okay? It has a lot to do with love or it has something here that you're very passionate about that you have a vision of it moving forward and growing. The reason why there is a blocked energy is because you're still in pain over something. There's something here about a third party situation. If not a third party situation, there's something here that happened in your past or there's something presently going on within you that's creating fear. For majority of you, what's happening is you are worried that you're gonna get hurt. Okay, there's a fear. Well, if it's taking too long, why is it taking too long? Why is something you're not moving forward? There's a lot of worry and fear. And one of the things that you need to be aware of is whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and create, if you're moving towards this situation in fear, pain, trauma, uncertainty, you're manifesting that through your emotions. And this is why putting yourself in this fear and trauma you're in this fear and trauma again whether you're single you're not you're dating someone you're not you want to date it doesn't matter it's the common energy that you have to be consciously aware of so your biggest challenge is not to allow fear anxiety assumption of pain or trauma to affect your ability to believe that something that you have in your mind that you want to grow again whether that's a relationship or a goal or whatever it is it will take time to manifest. And if you're not approaching the situation in a calm, cool, collective type of manner, then you will sabotage it. And this is what I told Aquarius. So uh, if you're dealing with an Aquarius or you have Aquarius in your chart, I recommend you watching the Aquarius reading because this is very similar. There's a little bit of a difference between you and Aquarius. You're more so um, moving towards the situation in uncontrollable emotions. And if you're, if you have or are in these emotions of fear, anxiety, and, and, and uncertainty, then you're manifesting that because our emotions are very much tied to our ability to manifest what we want. So your biggest challenge here is not to allow your anxiety and fear to take over, but rather move towards the situation in a pa patient and relaxed manner and release this fear of pain that you're assuming. There's an assumption here about, well, what if they hurt me? What if this doesn't work out? Well, what if it doesn't? Is that what you want? If that's not what you want, then don't, don't put your energy there. And that's going to be your challenge for this week. Okay. So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the two of swords in the recent past. <clears throat> So the two of swords is clarified by the hermit. You have the king of wands and the five of swords. So in the recent past, there's something here about, um, again, you overthinking something. Whatever's happening now is what happened in the past. So you were overthinking a situation. And one of the things that you were overthinking here in the past was if you were in a relationship or you were in some sort of situation, doesn't have to be a relationship, but if you were in some sort of situation that brought you so much happiness and then you started to doubt it, and then you started to worry, well, what if it doesn't work? Well, what if this person closed up? Clo and, then, and then everything you're thinking in your mind starts manifesting. And this happiness, this fulfillment that you started to feel, it started to dis uh, disintegrate because you allowed your emotions and your anxiety and fear to take over in the past. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups in the recent past. Some of you have to be careful because the more you worry, the more you age, okay? You got to learn how to control your, your, your anxiety. It's very important here, okay? So 10 of cups is clarified by the four of wands, the queen of cups, and the two of pentacles. You see, you had a choice in the past when it came to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some of you are in a relationship, long-term commitment with this person, and you allowed a situation to overwhelm you. And as a result of that, that is why something here started to become difficult for you. So what you were learning here in the past, Virgo, was that your fear and anxiety about something, it's not, the only thing you're doing is adding to it. The more you have fear, anxiety, worry, questioning things all the time, even though they're good, by the way, this situation was really good in the past. There was nothing wrong. It was perfect. But then your, your anxiety set in and you had a choice here in the past. You had a choice to enjoy the relationship, enjoy the situation that you were in. Okay or be in a situation of constantly being in your head about it. And that's why someone here started to become closed off to you. Something's telling me it's a Libra here. Could have been a Pisces as well. There was a closed off energy. So there is a big lesson here about controlling your emotions, controlling how you feel, controlling the thoughts that go through your mind. 
Now, in the present moment, there's a very strong connection, okay? The lovers is here with the Hierophant. So some of you want to get married to this person or you want to commit yourself. Tell me more about this connection in the present moment for Virgo. So the lovers is clarified by the three of swords, the seven of cups and the stars. So there you go. There's your challenge. Your challenge is showing up in the present moment. The reason why there's a blocked energy when it comes to this soulmate that you want to attract is because you're still in pain. You're still allowing your emotions to overwhelm you. You're still allowing some sort of situation that you're not really clear on to determine how you should feel. And all it's going to take for you is to talk about the future. All you have to do, Virgo, is talk about the future with this person that you're really attracted to, that you really want to be with. Some of you are already with this person, okay? Or some of you want to be with this person. There's a need for you to get clear on the direction of this relationship, okay? Because you could have an idea of where you want this relationship to go and this person has an idea. If you and this person are not on the same page, then it does create pain and it does create uncertainty. And I feel like that's what's happening in the present moment because deep down inside, you don't wanna be an option when it comes to this person. You wanna be with this person and make plans for the future, okay? So there's something here about choosing to speak up and make plans and discuss, you know, where you stand with this person or you can remain in this place of assuming things. Well, what if it doesn't work, Monica? What if that will, is that what you want? If that's not what you want, then you need to be proactive to, 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 to make plans instead of remaining in this place of fear and hurt and pain and ass assuming. There's something here about ass assuming things, okay? Now, something is hidden from you. And it, this is, it's a very emotional situation. Why is the moon here? What does Virgo need to know in the present moment? So the moon is clarified by the two of swords, the devil and the fool. So in the present moment, it looks like the reason why someone here is closed off, okay, is because you and this person, there's such a casual energy here. And the casual energy is the devil. Whenever I see the devil in, in my readings, I always assume it's like a friends with benefits or it's a, I don't know where I really stand with this person. Or, you know, there could be a lot of drugs and alcohol. Maybe drugs and alcohol are the primary way of you and this person connecting. And if you truly want to have a new beginning with this person and you want it to be something serious, which I think that's what you're wanting, uh, there's a need for you to really be open to what you want and not be afraid because if you're afraid to express how you feel or what you want because of rejection there's something here about the four of cups okay i'm getting the four of cups energy there's something here about wanting to commit to this person wanting to be with them but there's a closed off energy because of the fear of uncertainty so why is the hierophant here in the present moment for virgo some of you are married to someone in the present moment and there's an important message here you have the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Hangman. So something here is not moving forward with the Hangman. So you have some sort of expectation, um, King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is you. So you want to marry this person or you want to commit to them. But Virgo, what you need to understand, understand, and overstand is that your pain and your trauma from the past or your assumption of assuming that things are going to go wrong is what you're creating and this is why the magician's in reverse because as much as you want something and you want to create it it's all about how you feel and how you approach it because if i want something and i'm approaching it as i'm going to fail and i'm saying all these negative affirmations there's something here about you being negative towards yourself and it's like envision what you want without being worried that it's not going to happen. Listen, if something is not for you, it's just not going to happen. You don't have to force the situation. You don't have to force the situation. It's either going to be for you or it's not going to be for you. But if you move towards the situation, assuming that it's not going to work out, you're right. It's not going to work out. You're hundred percent right. It's not going to work out because you're creating that. Okay, so this is why something here is kind of like, <laughs> it's like a door that needs to be, you know, lubricated. You know, you, you have the power to determine how you want something to go, but it starts with your emotions. 
and your feelings towards it. And that's why the three of swords is here with the nine of swords. Because you're, you're, you're already in pain, even though you, you're not even, you know, at that point of pain. You're assuming something has failed before it has even started. Okay. Now let's talk about the near future. Now in the near future, you have the world here. So something here is coming to an end. What is this? Why is the world here in the near future for Virgo? So the world is clarified by the justice. You have the five of cups and the four of swords. So in the near future, there's something here about you finally recognizing you were in pain. Okay. In the near future, you're going to realize, wow, I was in pain. Wow. I had so much trauma that I didn't work through. And guess what? That's all coming to an end. It's coming to an end because you're finally setting something right here. If you've had issues with someone, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I'm getting a Gemini here or a Libra. I'm also getting an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. That situation in the near future is going to completely come to an end. You're going to get truth and clarity finally about something and I see tons of forgiveness and healing from this situation tell me more about the page of cups in the near future for Virgo the page of cups is clarified by the queen of pentacles the ten of swords and the eight of swords you see you start to forgive yourself in the near future this is all about you by, by the way this reading for majority of you watching this a lot of you are single or you're you're accepting something here in the near future okay and what you're accepting here in the near future is not to condemn yourself some of you failed or something here didn't work out and it's almost like you've been holding on to this pain because something here didn't work out the way that you wanted it to but in the near future you gain this truth that comes within yourself and you start to realize this isn't my fault. This is what was supposed to happen. This is how things were supposed to be. And you start to realize that as you start to forgive yourself, you're starting to open the door to being able to set things right. Because here's the thing, Virgo, what you don't realize is you're the creator of your reality. There's no special book in the world that says you have to do this, 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 and this, this way. That's why life is a playground. It's meant for you to... Put yourself in it, learn from it, and move on. So there's something here about you not condemning yourself because something didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords in the near future. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the King of Cups. So in the near future, it looks like with the Six of Wands, there is a possibility of you um, being successful with someone here in love. Someone here is going to be offering you love, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting a Leo here, maybe an Aries or um, a, a Sagittarius. I'm also getting um, a Gemini, okay? So someone here is making it very clear to you, look, I'm interested in being with you. I want to be with you, but there's still some boundaries. There's still some sort of um, blockages here in the near future because of that. And again, a lot of it has to do with your mind and what you're creating and thinking. So the two things that I see you doing in the near future is one, forgiving yourself when things don't work the way that you want to and accepting that. Okay, which is going to allow you to, again, move more with the flow than forcing something here. And the second thing I'm seeing here is, is that your mind, okay, your mind is what is creating your reality. So if you're in a place of saying to yourself, well, what if they block me? What if they don't want me? What if they don't like me? Yeah, you're right. They're not going to want you if you're thinking like that. They're not going to want to be with you. You're not going to find love if you're like that. You need to shift your focus. And that's why what you don't see coming is a magician in reverse. Because the more you assume that you don't have control over your reality and you don't have control over creating what you want, then it, it, it's obviously going to move. This situation is obviously going to move in the wrong direction. And I don't think that's what you want. And this is why you need to reevaluate the direction um, of one, where your thoughts are going, and two, um, not to condemn yourself for something here that didn't work out the way that you wanted it to. And that's what I see you releasing in the near future, okay? Which is going to ultimately make room for you to create and manifest what you want. So let's get some advice. What is the advice? So the advice for you is the four of swords. You have the eight of cups and the star. Okay. So right now what I'm seeing here 
Your biggest piece of advice has a lot to do with the fact that something here didn't work out. You need to completely remove yourself from this trauma, this pain, okay? If somebody left you or walked away from you and it's been very hard for you to get over, there's something here about you needing to heal that within yourself. Stop being worried. Stop being in this place of thinking that nothing is going to work out for you because if that's how you're thinking, that's where it's going to go. So your biggest piece of advice, Virgo, is to heal. Start making plans for the future. Act as if whatever it is that you want in the future is already here. Start making these plans and start living as if you already have them. The more you remain in this place of holding on to something here that you know is done and that you've walked away from, the less likely it is you're going to be able to heal. Your healing is very important to you being able to manifest and create the reality that you want. Okay, so Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.